The guest lecturer, Professor Eddie Eragbe, said that press freedom and reliable information is everyone's concern and has impact on other human rights. Professor Eragbe said it is the responsibility of the mass media to hold government accountable when the need arises, pointing out that journalists were fundamental to the struggle for Nigeria's independence. He, however, called for caution while exercising these rights to avoid disunity in the country. What press freedom did, which is talking about freedom for the people of the world, the press, the media, is sustenance, is right to perform its duties freely, is very crucial and critical. In his speech, the NUJ chairman, Edo State Council, Comrade Festus Alehe, encouraged journalists not to be deterred in the face of challenges encountered while discharging their constitutional responsibility. We want to urge journalists in Edo States not to be deterred with the current situation, but to continue to do their jobs. High point of the World Press Freedom Day was a conferment of a Distinguished Service Award on an astute businessman and philanthropist, Dr. Dori Afe Efosa Okoji. I present this Distinguished Service Award to Dr. Dori Efosa Afe Okoji. Today, May 3rd, 2022. Koji said he is delighted to be recipient of the prestigious award. He thanked the NUJ Edo State Council for the good works in promoting peace and unity in the state. I'm also delighted that we are using this occasion of your World Freedom Press Day to address matters that are germane to the rights of the privileges, rights and privileges of every individual in this country. And I want to thank you, the NUJ Edo State, for this program. Some guests who accompanied Dr. Dorio Koji to the ceremony commit. A very wonderful man. He's done very well in, in his industry. He's a great uh, philanthropist. Then, worthy of it. And I'm um, a hard worker. One who has so much love for his foundation. He has so much love for Edo State. Is, is, is a good man and that he deserves what he has gotten to do. The event also featured the presentation of a reviewed NUJ constitution to chapels in Edo State Council. Sharon Ajay, ITV News.